Woo! This video had to be made, it had to be done. I'm, I'm tired of it, I'm tired. I'm tired of people wasting their life at McDonald's. I'm tired of people going to McDonald's thinking they're about to have a good time. I'm tired of seeing the drive through for McDonald's filled, front and back and center. All right, so I had to make this video so that you can be informed. If you still wanna eat McDonald's after this video, I can't stop you. I'm not gonna hold a gun to your head and tell you to stop eating McDonald's. If you wanna ruin your life, by all means, go ahead. All right, but I'm just gonna break down how McDonald's is evil. All right, so I'm sure most of you guys have seen this screenshot um, showing that they tested McDonald's burgers, all right, and they found rat and human DNA, all right? So with that knowledge, and here's a screenshot, by the way, since people think I'm capping all the time. Like, people think I'm just making this shit up. People think I enjoy just making up fake information. Like, that gets me off or something. Like, that turns me on. Like, me making this, spreading false rumors and lies turns me on. Like, nah, nigga, I'm not, I'm not the people that started religion, all right? The people that started religion, yeah, those people enjoy, get turned on by spreading fake lies. All right, but I'm just here to spit the facts. And it is, it is proved that McDonald's is using human and rat DNA in their burgers, all right? Now, they, now McDonald's got caught lacking, okay? And they tried to cover it up. They tried, they really tried to cover it up. They really thought they were slick with it. They thought they were Michael Jackson. They said, hee hee, smooth criminal. Nah, nigga, you're not, getting, you're not getting away from this one. All right, my bad guys. Some bikers came by, they're probably gang stalking me. But back, back to what I was saying. McDonald's, is, McDonald's thought they were Michael Jackson with it. They thought they could get away with it. They really tried to cover it up. All right. They tried to cover it up by saying, oh, the human DNA found was because of toenails or some human hair. All right. So let's just say that we're mentally retarded. Let's just say that we're handicapped for a second. And let's say that we believe that. All right. First of all, even the fact that they admitted that some hair or some toenails might, that slip, might have slipped into the meat is automatically an L. All right. At McDonald's, no matter what, you took an L in this situation. All right. That's automatically disgusting. Let's just say I was a meat lover, which repels me at this point. But let's just say I loved meat. Me knowing that there's, there's, there's a potential chance that some human hair or some human t toenails or fingernails got into my damn burger automatically makes me want not want to eat there anymore, all right? So that, that's an L right there automatically. All right, but, but that's not even the case. There ain't no human hair in there. Well, there probably actually is, all right? But we all know that they're trying to cover up for the fact that they're actually using children in their meat. Whoever thinks that they're at, that McDonald's actually uses real beef, real cow, you're meant to, you're, 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 you're gone. You're, you're gone. You're, it's okay though. Everyone has been there at one point. Everyone has been as uninformed as you. So it's your chance. I'm not gonna bash you for, for believing McDonald's, all right? It, you still have a chance to come back. But just know that you're not eating real cow, all right? You're not eating cow. You're eating meat. This is not cow, it's human, all right? All, all, those ki all those kids getting kidnapped. I'm gonna tell you what they do real quick. Hillary Clinton sucks their blood out of their body, right? All these elites, they suck the blood out of these children's body, all right? Niggas are gonna think I'm capping. Yeah, I don't, I don't give a fuck. All right, they, they, they suck the blood out of these humans' body, and then they, and then they use the meat. Once all the blood's gone, uh, once they once they've been done with the children, they grind it up and throw it into McDonald's. All right, they they use that as meat from McDonald's. Taco Bell, especially Taco Bell. Oh yeah, Taco Bell. Get that out of here. I need to make a whole another video about them. I, Taco Bell doesn't. Their meat doesn't even look real. All right, their meat and they boil their meat. Did you guys know that? They, all right, I'm, I'm go, I need I need to go back to the main topic here. All right, so let's just say that they tried to McDonald's tried to claim that the, the the DNA from humans came from hair and toenails. All right, so off the bat, let's just say that's true. That's an L. All right, but it ain't true. It's human. It's human meat. They're actually using human. All right, and don't think I forgot about the other half McDonald's. So you might have had a little cover up. You, you know, you're probably preparing that cover up for a while. You had a little cover up for the human DNA. But how do you explain the rat DNA? What is some rat hair getting to get in there too? Does some rat hair get in that burger too? Like hell no. All right, the human hair I can understand. All right, maybe maybe one of the workers was feeling lazy. She didn't put on a hairnet. You know, a pube or two might have fell into the burger. All right, you're eating a little pube burger. But the fact that there's a rat hair in there, I'm assuming that's what they're gonna say. They're gonna probably say, "Oh, there's a little rat hair." Why the hell would rat hair even be in the facility? Like, you're taking an even bigger L. Let's just say that it is rat hair. You're taking an even huger L. By the fact that you have rats running around in your in your in your burger factory, McDonald's, like you have rats. All right, let's just say that they, they didn't even they didn't even have a cover up for the rat hair, as far as I'm aware. So, the fact that you potentially have a rat hair, they didn't even have a cover up for the rat DNA. So the the fact that you potentially have a rat hair, just 
th that means you have rats in your facility because where else would rat hair come from? And that's if they try to claim that it comes from rat hair. Uh, what I personally believe, I believe they're they're catching the, they're catching the rats like fucking like snakes out here. They're ca they're they're catching the rats and they're throwing that shit in the burger too. All right, that's my personal belief. But you know, you can eat McDonald's if you want. If you want to fuck up your whole entire life, go ahead, eat some McDonald's, eat some human DNA. And some rat DNA while you're at it. Because human DNA wasn't bad enough for them already. They had to throw a couple rats in there to spice it up. You know, add a couple seasonings. Alright. And one more thing before I end this. Because it's already longer than I wanted it to be. I hope you realize the cheese that you're eating is so fucking fake. Alright. The cheese on that McDonald's burger is so damn fake. Alright. It's not even funny how fake it look just by looking at it all right i should not be able to look at cheese and be and automatically be like oh yeah that's that fake bullshit all right it's fake it's not i i don't know how the hell they made that cheese but it ain't cheese all right don't even call that don't even whenever you ask hey can i get some extra don't even call this don't even call the stuff on mcdonald's burgers cheese that's not even cheese it looks it looks like it's fucking straight from a cartoon my nigga like that shit look hella fake that stuff looks hella fake all right and another reason I know it's fake is because I was watching an interview. I was watching a mukbang hell a long time ago with Trippy Red's ex girlfriend. All right, and she 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 explained how to tell if cheese is fake or not. She was like, I can't remember exactly because it was like a year ago when I watched this. But she was like, if you like the cheese, it's supposed to melt in a certain way, and that's how you know if it's real. Well, basically to sum it up, she did the experiment, and it turned out to be fake ass cheese. All right. So she literally admitted she literally exposed how McDonald's be using fake cheese. All right. So Trippy Red's girlfriend was onto something. All right. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, I just wanted to explain how there's no way in hell that, like I just want to explain how that McDonald's got caught lacking for using human DNA, yet you niggas still be eating it. And how they, and how people believe that it's actually, oh, it's just it's just little pubes from humans in their, in their, in their burger. They're like people believe that it's actually pube hair in their burger. Like nah nigga, you're eating the whole body. Uh, you're eating a whole human, but I don't really care. I just thought I would help you guys out. If you guys still want to eat a Big Mac after this, by all means, go ahead. I can't stop you. I'm not going to pull up to your house with a gun and tell y'all niggas to stop eating it. All right. That's the end of this video. Stop eating fast food. And I'm out. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed already, that's all I got to say. All right, I'm out. And goddamn it, end.